Don't you wish you could travel to space just like Neil Armstrong or uh, Sally Ride? Don't worry! Earth has places that kind of feel more like outer space than space itself. Don't believe me? Well, I'm gonna challenge you, space lover. I'm Kevin from Vsauce 2, and today we'll be finding out which one of these places actually belongs to Earth. It's Google Arts and Culture's Odd One Out. Ready? Time for liftoff. Space, the final frontier. Space is filled with celestial bodies home to jaw-dropping landscapes, making it humanity's most fascinating destination in the last century. It's so dark and infinite that it's hard to even conceive what exists beyond our telescopes. But hey, Earth has its remarkable vistas too, such as the Salar de Uni in Bolivia or Yellowstone National Park in the United States. But if those destinations weren't enough to blow your mind, let's play a game. Here are two pictures of very different destinations. Can you spot which one is on Earth? I'll give you five seconds. Five, four, three, look closely, two, one, time's up. Did you guess correctly? The first one is on Mars. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter observed sand dunes in the north polar regions of Mars, showing light coatings of pale orange dust blown partially across the dark basaltic sand. Around the edges of the dune, patches of seasonal dry ice remain. The second one is here on Earth. Brazil's Lençóis Mariensis National Park is home to these perfectly shaped sand dunes immersed in clear, fresh water. Don't they look strikingly similar to the dunes on Mars? If you didn't guess right, don't worry, that was just a warm-up. The real challenge starts now. Are you ready to have your brain busted? Which one of these out-of-this-world pictures actually exists in this world? Tick-tock, tick-tock. Do you have an answer? Look closely. I've left some hints to help you out. Alright, that's it. Time's up. The answer is number four. Dune 45 is a dune in the Namib Desert in Namibia. It stands over 170 meters tall and contains sands that are 5 million years old. The most amazing part is researchers have found similarities between Namib's dune and those on Mars. So if you visit Namibia, you're getting pretty close to experiencing the Red Planet. Okay, now that we have Earth covered, let's discuss those other awesome pictures and where they're from. First, we have an image of the Kimberley Formation on Mars, taken by NASA's Curiosity rover. The colors are adjusted so the rocks look almost as they would if they were on Earth, which helps geologists interpret the rocks. Next up, we have an image of Jupiter's atmosphere, captured by NASA's Juno spacecraft. The spacecraft was a little more than 12,742 kilometers away from Jupiter when it captured this mind-bending, color-enhanced view of the planet's tumultuous atmosphere. And finally, we have Neil Armstrong's legendary footprint on the moon, marking humanity's first step on the lunar surface on July 20th, 1969. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. It's crazy to think that what lies beyond our atmosphere can be so similar yet so different from what we have here on Earth. There's still so, so much that we need to learn. These photos only show us a glimpse of just our solar system. Who knows what space photographs will show us in the future? Distant solar systems? Other Earth-like planets? Maybe even alien life forms? It's up to us to continue to explore, learn, imagine, and develop the tools and science to reach the stars. 